Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is James and I want us to discuss something about Archicad. And uh, I'll start by opening a file here. One of the recent projects that I have been working on. And then after that we can start our discussion. So the file that I want to open is this one in the list so I'll select it then click open and you notice that when clicking open Archicad displays an error that is, t is telling me that file is not found at the given location and this is what I want us to discuss what causes this error and how to solve that error I'll give you two courses and we can experiment with the two courses and then I will tell you how we can solve this. So why is Akika telling me the file is not found at the given location? This is very simple. It's just the way it is. Akika has detected that the location on our local disk where the recent project had been saved has changed. It is not the same location that the current project file is saved at. So this might have happened in like we had a, a file like a project file saved in a certain folder then maybe we went back to that folder and transferred the project file from that folder to another folder. So when we do that, the storage path that Archicad had captured for that recent project changes and it means Archicad will not be able to recognize that path again unless we tell Archicad where we have saved our file. And the next cause of that error is if we had our project file in a certain folder somewhere on a, in our computer and then we went back to that file and renamed that file. Maybe it was workshop drawing and we renamed it to workshop drawing 2. That means the project file name has changed and it becomes different from what Akikad had captured the last time we had opened that project file. So I will go ahead and open one of the projects uh, that I've saved somewhere in my computer and then you will see it open and then we can go back and perform the two operations. I will try to change I will change the project name, project file name, and then we'll come back to opening it and see whether it's going to open or it's going to display an error. So let's go to browser project. Now it depends on uh, the type of Archicad project you had created. If yours was a solo project, you can choose browse for a solo project. If you had created a teamwork project, you can choose browse for a teamwork project. So what I'm doing is browsing for solo project and click browse. And on click on clicking browse, Archicad opens a pop-up that uh, takes me back to the folders that are saved in my computer. And this folder is called tutorials. Is is uh, where I have this drawing, workshop drawing 02, I want to select this and click open. And if you can see, Archicad is opening the project. And what I want us to do is when Archicad has opened the project, now we've confirmed that this 
this project is is openable with Archicad. I want us to close the project just right now close the project go to file go to file then choose this option close project and uh, the project is closed now let's go to our computer this is the folder that I have the drawing I want to the first scenario is I want to rename this project file so right click on the project file and go to to this option of rename and call this workshop drawing 03 okay and then go back to archicad and go to file open and this is the most recent project that we had opened so let us try to open it click on it you see archicad gives me a warning that the file is not found at the given location this is just because we have changed the project file name and the previous the, the recent project archicad and captured a different file name in uh, the same location so for us to be able to open the file we'll go to file open and then choose the first option open which takes us back to our storage in the computer and we can choose the same file and open it and you see archicad now has captured the, the new path for the renamed project file and it's opening the file so you can confirm this is the same drawing that we had opened now what i want us to do is close this file or close this project and go ahead and perform the next operation we had said you either you have either changed the project file name or you have migrated the project from one folder to another folder and that means maybe you've cut and copy or cut and paste to a different directory so i go back to tutorials and there is my project file workshop drawings 03.pln i want to right click on it and cut and go paste it on my desktop so I'll open desktop now let me open um, let me open my flash drive and there is a folder written Felix so I'll paste it here paste it's pasting this is the file so if I go back to Archicad and try to open that project the most recent one that we had opened you see it's giving me a warning that the file is not found at the given location it's the same warning that it had given me before so that means Archicad is not recognizing the new storage path for a project and what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to tell Archicad this is where we have moved our project file to so that Archicad will be now able to open the file so I'll click OK go back to file open and then go to open and then I'll browse it's saved in my, it's saved in my computer this is the flash disk and then there, this, there is this folder and this is our drawing and now Archicad has captured the new 
storage path for a file and it is opening it and it is going to save that storage path for the project in the recent projects tab now that's it that is how to fix file not found in the given location error in archicad and i hope you've learned something i hope this video has been helpful to you if you found it helpful and uh, educative and you can give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section so that i can know what your views are or what your opinions are what you want what you want us to discuss in the next video and i will be very happy to receive your feedback thank you and this marks the end of our video tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video and please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel i'll be posting other videos other video tutorials and we'll be learning together thank you